Canada's provincial and territorial leaders say they can't afford to wait for change in Ottawa before doing something about missing and murdered Aboriginal women. The Prime Minister says Aboriginal women are victims of crime, not part of a wider phenomenon. And so with no national inquiry in the offing, the Premiers met with First Nations leaders today to explore other options. Anna Thibodeau has more from Charlottetown. Anna? Ian, for the second year in a row, the Premiers and territorial leaders are calling on Prime Minister Stephen Harper to hold a national public inquiry into the murdered and missing Aboriginal women and girls. But that's not likely going to happen. There's uh, two ways to change his mind. Uh, one would be he has to do that himself, uh, or two, uh, there's a new prime minister. But with the federal election still months away, Aboriginal groups and provincial leaders want action from the prime minister now. Last week, while traveling in the north, Stephen Harper once again resisted calls for a national inquiry. We should not view this as sociological phenomenon. We should view it as crime. I mean, it's his choice. He decided to isolate himself. Today, the premiers and Aboriginal leaders offered the PM a compromise, a round table including all premiers, Aboriginal leaders and the PM. It's a problem for the whole nation and it needs a national response. It's not unique to any one province. Saskatchewan Premier Brad Wall says the group would tackle justice issues, education and social initiatives, and encourage stronger leadership from First Nations communities. We're going to work towards a, 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 an accountability meeting next year, and in the intervening 12 months, we're each going to share best practices and report how we're implementing them. The president of the Native Women's Association of Canada, who plans to run for the federal Liberals, says the PM needs to be a part of the solution. If not, she says her group will take the federal government to court. If he says no to the round table, then it's obvious for me that we, he care less for us. And that's unacceptable. Discrimination, racism, I will find ways. It's unacceptable. The government says it's doing its part, investing $50 million towards a victim's fund and more resources for police. We want to find who's responsible for, for, for these terrible, terrible crimes. So I understand frustration and, and criticism. But what I want them to know is that this government has been very strong in putting forward measures that actually deal with this. The NDP came out today with an early election promise. Tom Mulcair says that if he becomes prime minister next year, he'll call a national public inquiry into Canada's missing and murdered Aboriginal women and girls within the first 100 days of taking power. Ian. Thanks, Hannah.